Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Public Coin, and I have an open box video for you today that is uh, pretty specialized. It is something that um, we intentionally put together uh, just for the channel. It's not the type of thing that traditionally I would have considered doing, but we thought, you know what, this would be kind of fun. We had a, a tube of 1955S Lincoln cents, which are the type of coins traditionally we wouldn't send in. But there was just some absolutely stunning coins in here. And so we thought, you know what, let's go ahead and see if we can get some of these uh, coins to grade in the uh, ultra gem grade, right? We wanted to get them all the way up into a 67. Now the gray sheet on these is not, I think probably not that accurate. Um, well, I, sh I shouldn't say that. A lot of the mid-century modern stuff, the gray sheets kind of uh, Jekyll and Hyde as far as where they go with the value and whether it's accurate or not. So, you know, these guys here, um, 66 bids for like 17 bucks and then 67 for 65 bucks. So, so the goal was to get some sevens, right? And so you can see like uh, the first two coins, really bright red coins. This coin happens to have a little spot above the N, but uh, that's not a contact mark. That looks more like a um, uh, a mark that was on the planchet before it got struck. And uh, overall, you can see the quality of the coins were really high quality, and you can you can almost sense my hopefulness, right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a halftime break here after this coin, so we can talk a little bit about. Um, the service that I used here from NGC and I want you to kind of consider the coins as you look at them what you think they may be graded uh, how nice they are or are not um, you can see like on this coin here contact marks you got a couple below the N one in the E you got a little bit of a spot over there by the O and one a little bit of spotting behind his head and then we're gonna we're gonna get back to these uh, your regularly scheduled program here in just a second. But first, you know these I actually send in on modern, which usually I send things in. You'd send something inexpensive like these on economy. The modern service is a couple bucks less, and some of you may know your uh, guidelines well enough to say, well, you know you can't send those in modern. They're 1955. So let me learn how to do this here. There's the modern service, and as you can see. Uh, it's supposed to be faster, 12 days instead of 21. All U.S. or world coins, 1955 to present. What's nice about this service is you can send, um, well, no. You can't send U.S. and world in on the same form, which would be nice. So it's supposed to be a little bit faster. It's also a couple bucks less. Here's the new NGC uh, forms, all uh, modern or U.S. coins, 65 to present. Maximum value two thousand dollars. So actually, this is something that changed this year. Um, going from fifty-five to sixty-five, I actually sent this in on an old slip, and uh, a couple months back. So this uh, they did not they did not complain. I, they just ran it as modern, even though they were fifty-five and newer. So this coin has a great great look to it overall, but it's got that mark right on its cheek. So what I did is I had a whole bunch of these coins and I put them one against the other and we just did the elimination game, right? You know, I'd compare two coins and, and the one that was uglier uh, or not as nice, I don't know, uglier or not as nice, one of the two. I got rid of one of them that I didn't like and I kept going until I felt like we kind of got the cream of the crop in here, right? So this one, this one I really liked. Now, once again, well, I've talked about this on my channel before about the how difficult it is to get MS sixty sevens on coins, um, you know, outside of coins that are just like brand new from mint sets or, or modern commems or you know silver eagles, uh, but on coins that were actually designed to circulate, so especially coins from the you know forties and fifties, you know, getting them in that sixty seven grade is super super tough, and um, I think you're going to find that uh, these were no exception. I um, 
don't specialize in 67 Lincoln cents. So, you know, it's not the type of thing that typically um, I'm going to just pick them out. So there's that mark again above the N and see, I was telling you about that, that glossy finish, how that's not actually a contact mark. And that's something that was there. It's like a roller mark when the penny planchet was rolled out. So really, really bright. All right. So let's take a look at some of these. And this is where, you know, of course, obviously it pays to just buy these coins already in holders, but Something else that I want to say here is that, you know, it, it's hard to, I'm going to, I'm going to make two countervailing arguments at the same time, right? One is that, you know, you shouldn't send coins like these and get certified because it's, you know, the cost versus what you're getting. Um, but, you know, you're splitting hairs so much in these grades that, um, you know, go back, go back to buy the coin, not the holder. Would you care to have the 66 versus the 65? Of course, our mind tells us we want the 66 because that's that's a tougher coin. It's a better grade. You know, but when the coins are just next to each other, now each of these coins is different. So you can you can really get, uh, you know, you can really sit down with them and, and scrutinize them and decide, hey, I definitely like one over the other. But there's just such a splitting hair aspect to this that sometimes I think, you know, why pay extra on these coins? If you can really be satisfied with with a coin that's gorgeous and is like half the price, so there's another 65, another 66. Um, if you can be satisfied with the coin that you got and it's half the price, you know, um, I know that some guys make the argument, you know, buy the nicest coin you can afford, but that's saying buy the nicest coin you can afford based on what the holder says. Right, so, and you'll see this all the time with like 1880 S dollars and 81 S dollars that they're just stunning and they're only graded 64. And, uh, you know, that's that's just something that you don't have to, you don't have to abide by what people tell you. You can go ahead and buy the 64 coin that's gorgeous and not worry too much about it. I actually have a couple more here of these stunning beauties. I did not get a 67. I got uh, out of the little group, I sent in, I sent in nine, and I got, I can't count, yeah, four and 66 and five and 65. So, but that's not the end of the video. I have two coins that uh, you're going to really like, I think, uh, also modern coins, but uh, something that uh, is among my favorite coins is a really nicely toned anything, right? But, um, so I have an old video where I talk about this dime that I used to own and it sold for like a thousand bucks. It was something like this. It was not a rare date. Uh, and, but the toning was, was just stunning. So the reverse of this coin is not toned over. Uh, but the obverse has just stunning album toning. Just that sometimes I'll call that a bullseye toning or target toning. Just, it has a little bit of every color to it. They call this a 66 star, so I know how much you guys like stars. And apparently they don't give these out just for showing up uh, for good attendance because they're pretty hard to get the stars. And this coin in and of itself is probably not deemed rare um, in with a 66, but a 66 star, I think this coin will sell for about 100 bucks. I do. I think that it's a pretty nice coin uh, overall. And... You know, I had this little group of Roosevelt's that were uh, an old set and they were toned over. And here we go with just a really contact free and a high luster coin. So this, this is actually a 57 Philly. And, uh, you know, it's the type of coin that, you know, usually your Philly mints don't have that kind of luster that you see from the San Francisco coins. This actually has similar luster to that of one of those San Francisco coins, just really high luster coin. He's got just a little bit of break in the luster there on the forehead. This cool, interesting, like kind of tab toning where it's really toned over. And then there's like that just kind of line going over the L. And uh, 66 plus. Um, you know, once again, this is a coin that typically guys don't send in to get graded. 
uh, it's hard to get really high grades on these guys, but uh, this guy here is, um, I think, probably a, a $30 coin or maybe a $40 coin if you can find uh, someone who specializes in Roosevelt Dimes. And those of you who specialize in Roosevelt Dimes, you're going to look at this and say, you know what? Uh, no, Ben, you're wrong. It's just not that much. But um, I really like these two dimes, so I sent them in for certification. And uh, both of them came back a nice high grade, 66 and 66 plus, a 66 star. So no sevens in the box, which was always the goal. Um, by the way, going back to the pennies, uh, you know, an MS67 lists for about 30 to 35 bucks. So it's not really some magical big winner uh, if you get him. But once again, like I said, we did this kind of as an experiment for the channel to see just how high... I have a grade we could get on some of these, and it looks like we tapped out at 66. So, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Leave your comments in the box below. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.